Hey guys, what's up? NGS back again for another late night video. Um, probably not gonna upload this one tonight. Today is, well technically today is uh, Friday the 8th, but I just uploaded those two videos. So, you know, I might upload this later tonight, maybe late night just to give the, uh, sorry, I'm on Facebook, give the illusion. And I just got a new message from Michael K. <sighs> what's good, buddy? Alright, anyway, so I'm just going to close down Facebook for a second because you don't want to hear the whole boodoo happen every five seconds. Um, time for another Ask Neo. Yeah, I know it's been a, a pretty long time since I've done one. i got to start, you know, actually doing more of these because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy them. Um, you know, because it's easier for me to do this than it would be to actually... Well, actually, now I can actually write to you guys more since i got my computer in my room and I can do more shit now in summer vacation, so... Hmm. Anyway, it's always fun to do an Ask Neo. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about, <laughs> funny, I'm going to be talking about, you know, recent questions I got, you know, it's been a long time, I've been chatting for a lot of people, so my inbox is, like, filled with recent messages, so I'm going to have to shuffle through the older ones. Um, okay. Alright. Uh, first question. What made you make the switch to Blog TV other than Ustreams? Just based on the simple fact that everybody said that Blog TV was better than Ustream. Ustream said it was giving them problems as far as the chat box and the lag that appeared from when they would appear on, like when you type it in, then I, when I would actually like see it or register it, not when I would read it, but just when it would appear for me. You know, some people said it, they gave them some problems, you know, so that's why I switched to Blog to test it out. And people have generally said it's, it's much better for them. Um, it's easier for me to do more things on there. I think there are more chat options than Ustream, you know. I might do a Ustream every now and then. Um, but I, I'd say the biggest problem is that you can kick people. Like, the people there can kick people, you know, if they do, like, stupid shit, like spam. Which is both good and bad, because some people just, like, spam, so they want their question asked. Um, so we're going to have to iron out that problem, probably change the settings, so that won't happen. Because I got numerous messages of people saying they've been kicked by people who are in the stream. So we're going to work on that, and then maybe I might try... Um, Justin TV for the hell of it and yeah that was essentially just I want to get some user feedback and uh, second one uh, what would have to be your favorite fight in Naruto uh, my favorite fight in Naruto probably uh, let's see there were there were a couple good ones a couple ones I enjoyed Ah, oh, man, there's too many of them. I, I like a lot of them. I like the Naruto versus Neji fight a lot. You know, learning about Neji's past. You know, that was actually one of the good moments where Naruto said, you can believe in yourself to change your destiny. And then after that, it just got overdrawn to hell. So I loved the Naruto versus Neji fight. Uh, the Orochimaru third Hokage, that, that, that was sad. That made me cry at the end. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Seriously, I, I cried at freaking Toy Story 3. I'm going to cry at Definitely Hallows when that comes out. So, you know, whatever. Call me a fag. Whatever. You still watch my video anyway. <laughs> so, I said my favorite fight overall have to be Orochimaru versus the uh, third Hokage. That one just stuck to me the most. And uh, some other ones along the way. The whole Naruto versus Sasuke in the Final Valley. That was good. And then they got to Shippuden. And then it just became homosexual. A homosexual chase. That's all it became for Sasuke and Naruto. Started out good, but then became a homosexual chase, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I love Naruto, but Kishimoto be gaying that shit up. And I'm, there, I'm no way saying, like, gay in a bad way. I'm just saying, in general, it's coming off as pretty homo. For, sh for he's trying to make it not appear. I mean, yes, they're so they're brotherly love, whatever, but there's a limit, man. Naruto just gotta get through his hat, I mean, it was, it was nice the first time, it was cute the second time, but now it's just annoying, like, god, anyway, whatever, we'll talk about that later on Blog TV, uh, next question, do you like, um, Katakyo Hitman Reborn, have I not stressed how much I liked it, I probably haven't, you stream, I've definitely talked a lot about Hitman Reborn, um, and sadly, it still hasn't received a localized dub, for some unknown reason, I don't know, maybe licensing problems, maybe no one wants to pick up a mafia with a baby as the poster. A mafia show with a baby as a poster, that's not going to sell at all, is it? <laughs> just based off, WTF is that, let me go pick that up. Um, but just to sum it, I do love Hitman Reborn. You know? uh, let's see, 
next question, next question, next question. Are you seeing Deathly House Part 2? Of course I am. It's fucking Harry Potter. You know, it's going to be a beastly movie, and I've heard amazing things as far as the review. The premiere just happened like a day ago. Um, you know, I grew up with the movies, you know. Of course I'm going to see it, and I'm going to cry at the end of it because this is a part of my life, you know. I can't say the same about Twilight because Twilight, if anybody cries at the end of whatever the fuck the last Twilight book is called, you know, I've read all of them just to say I have, and while the books are better than movies, you're still comparing crap, you know, the movies are just crap put on film, <laughs> that's essentially what it is, a turd in a film reel, yes, you know, but it's still crap overall, Twilight is always going to be shit, it's a, it's a fucking old lady's wet dream, how does that make you feel? You know, I'm just saying, like, if anybody says that Twilight lives up to the caliber of Harry Potter, and Harry Potter does have its problems, I'm not admitting that, but still, it is leagues better than whatever the fuck Twilight is. Twilight is garbage. But yes, I am seeing Defy House Part 2. And it actually comes out a day for my birthday. My birthday is July 16th, so um, I'm going to be going to the midnight release of Deathly Hollows, and it'll be my 18th birthday. So I'm just like, win, man, win. <laughs> Okay, next question. All right, all right, all right. Uh, rant on Call of Duty nerds and fanboys and why they think Call of Duty's better. I probably could do that. You know, just talk about it because the Call of Duty fan base is crap overall. It really is. I'm not talking about the sensible people who like playing Call of Duty every now and then. I'm talking about the fanboys. What's up, Ryan? Eight five two two five eight. We're on Steam. I was just playing Left 4 Dead. Two. Um, I'm, I'm talking about the fanboys who say Call of Duty is the be-all, end-all. They don't know when they're getting butt-raped up the ass by Activision. $15 for map packs, you know. Pff, uh, I think it's funny that we got the same amount of map packs a couple of years ago. Same amount of maps a couple of years ago for $5 less. And the fact that it's Call of Duty just jacked with the price. You know, with what, there's three map packs now? That's like almost the price of the game. Just pointing it out there. Just pointing it out there. But I might do a video on that. Alright. Uh, what console are you getting Battlefield 3? I'm getting it for PC, of course, now that i got my gaming rig set up. Just because it's going to be the best version, and I want to play the best version. Um, it doesn't mean I won't pick it up eventually on a console. I'll probably pick it up on, like, PlayStation in a couple months. If I see, like, a price drop, like, 30 bucks, hey, I'll pick it up. Um, and discussing the whole graphics debate. You guys got to chill the fuck down. Seriously, all these PS3 freaking nerds saying, you gotta optimize the power of the PlayStation to make Battlefield 3 look good. The game looks good enough as is. You don't realize the game is still pre-alpha. That's why it looks like that, but oh, even though it's pre-alpha, it still looks good. You guys really need to get yourselves checked. The game's probably gonna look even better when it comes out, but in general, calm the fuck down. It's just a video game. Life moves on. Stop whining about the graphics. You guys are nothing but graphic whores. If anything, if you're going to complain about the graphics and not getting it, you guys don't even fucking deserve the game. Just point and get out there. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, is Amazon a viable place to purchase anime and or manga? I would say mostly. Amazon's a pretty good, legit place. You know, as long as you buy it new, uh, then it's still supporting the anime industry, the manga, you know helps to this sports and manga industry. There's two different markets, but they all ultimately go back to the same place. Um, you can trust Amazon for the most part. Just make sure you don't buy from third-party sellers because sometimes they might rip you off. Just buy what you see, like says buy new, then you're good to be getting it from Amazon. Um, and also another great place is rightstuff.com. R-I-G-H-T-S-T-U-F, just one F.com. Their sales, they're the steam of anime. I'm just going to point it out there. I mean... Yokorama, for Neverworld, Game Manic, B Dub. They'll tell you how amazing Right Stuff is. It, it's just that amazing. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Um, let's see, let's see. What are your thoughts on anime being rebooted? Um, by this question, he's talking about uh, the sake of Full Metal Alchemist being rebooted to follow more the manga, um, which is what they did for your also Dragon Ball Z Kai. Uh, generally, I, I like the ideas of that. Well, reboots really aren't something I go for. Like, you know, how Hollywood's rebooting the hell out of every movie. Do I own a reboot? I think I might own a reboot. I'm not sure, though. I don't know. I might own a reboot. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not particularly happy with reboots, but in some cases they're actually justified. Like, uh, with Spider-Man, 
I end up with X-Men. Um, generally, sometimes they can be good, but the majority of the time they are crap. Um, so, with uh, anime, you know, the same situation can apply. It could be either good or it could be crap. In the case of Kai and in the case of Brotherhood, they actually work out well. Um, Kai, not Kai, Brotherhood does have its problems, though. It starts off really bad. Like, I gotta say, this was probably the most boring thing to watch. The first 13 episodes in a long time that I've watched anime. It really was, because it's just essentially summing up what half of the first anime did but it's just not as good they automatically assume you've seen part one and or read that part of the manga so that's why they don't sum it up correctly and i really was like eh, it's not that good but after part two that just start picking up Poof, and then it gets so much better um but it, it, it can be done right if they want to reboot it to follow the manga that's great and what i like is that you can uh watch brotherhood and still enjoy the original it's like they exist in their own separate parallels you know it's not like a total reboot um, there are parts that I do enjoy in Brotherhood more than the original, and there are parts that I enjoy in the original more than Brotherhood, like when they found out the truth, you know, about the Philosopher's Stone, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, yeah, but overall I do prefer Brotherhood better, just because of the story, there's a lot more conspiracy going on, more character development, but that doesn't mean I don't like the original, I mean, I own all of the original, so obviously I must have enjoyed it. Yeah, but that's that. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see... Crap, generations, 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 ooh, crap, a lot of shit about generations. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one's pretty funny, actually. We talked about this on Blog TV. Um, Final Fantasy vs. 13 is supposed to apparently have a, a, a big information blowout next week, according to Square Enix, Enix, whatever. And we, we were talking about, imagine the information date gets delayed a year. So first off, the game gets delayed, it gets pushed back like two years, and now the information, regarding about the information of the release date of the game, gets pushed back a year. I'm like, we have no hope in this game anymore. Guys, I don't think this game is ever coming out. I really don't. But if it does, I'll definitely pick it up, because just just for the hell of it, we got another Duke Nukem. Oh, shit, if we have another Duke Nukem on our hands, I'm going to punch a bitch. I really am. All right, and I'm probably... Ryan's asking what's my PS2 emulator. I'll hit you up on that later, my friend. Alright, and uh, the last question on the list. You said on Blog TV that Steam was so much better than PS and Xbox Live. Please elaborate how. Alright, I'm just going to give it three simple things. Cheaper games. Better community. Digital fucking distribution. Just three things right there. You can interpret it however the hell you want it, but... Steam. Oh, if I want to add four things, free. Free. Anyway, you guys, that was the end of this um, NG Ask Neo. I was about to say NG is Ask Neo. That makes sense. Uh, a fly swatting around the lights. Like crazy shit. Um, the end of this Ask Neo. Uh, send in some video ideas for v upcoming videos you want to see. I mean, I got a good idea of what I'm going to do next. Might do a. Some people have been asking for a PS3 collection update, and since I'm not going to be buying a lot of. Uh, console games besides the Wii. I might just do an update because I'm of course I'm buying Uncharted when it comes out, I'm buying Arkham City. Um but I'm not gonna be buying any console games for a while because I got Steam and I've been playing like Left 4 Dead, Counter Strike, you know, Arkham Asylum. So I'm I'm set for now as far as gaming is concerned for the summer. Um so if you guys want to see like an updated collection of PS3, maybe Xbox three sixty, you know, hit me up with that. Um, what else is coming? Just more videos or whatever. Might do a review on the, uh, case closed season sets, because people have been asking for the review, like, is it worth the, uh, money? Just to sum it up, it is. It is, so I guess that proves the review. No and void. Anyway, so I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm NGS, signing out, and if you want more Ask Neos, all you gotta do is ask. Wow, that was really cheesy. So, as always, catch you guys later. I always seem to do. I always do. 509 on US dollars, it's Ridge Racer! You gotta love Blog TV. You gotta.